A cylinder with a diameter of 10 centimeters and a height of 12 centimeters is half full of water. So let's sketch this here. We have a nice cylinder here. Looks like this. And it is it has a diameter of 10 centimeters. So the diameter all the way across is 10 centimeters. This means that the radius is half of 10, which is 5 centimeters. So the radius here is 5 centimeters and a height of 12 centimeters. So the height from here to here is going to be 12. So from here to here, the height's going to be 12 centimeters. It's half full of water. So the water line is going to go like this. It's half. Let me draw that one more time. Approximately half full of water. So this here is half full of water. A sphere with a diameter of five centimeters is dropped into the cylinder. Now this is a pretty small sphere. I'm gonna just draw it like here. So the diameter is five centimeters, so the radius here is actually a lot smaller. So the diameter is five centimeters, so the radius here of this sphere is 2.5 because the radius is half the diameter. This here is 2.5 centimeters. So this is completely submerged. How far will the water level rise once the sphere is completely under the water? So we're completely under the water and we know what happens when we put things in water. The water level rises. Think of how you go into the into a bathtub full of water. When you actually go inside, the tub raises up. How much? The same volume as whatever is put inside. In this case, the same volume of the sphere. This here is a sphere. I can make this a bit shiny. You can see it's three-dimensional. So we know, we know that this water level is gonna rise. So the water level is gonna rise just a little bit, not too much, and so we have this nice we have this nice uh, cylinder. That's what this shape is. This shape is gonna be a cylinder. How far will the water level rise once the sphere is completely under the water? So the question is, what is this H value? What is, what is the, the change in this water level rising? No, being able to solve this H value of this inner cylinder and I made this um, cylinder yellow just to show that this here is a little mini cylinder. Um, and we know that this volume of this sphere is gonna have the same volume of the cylinder because this is being pushed up based on this sphere being dropped into the water. Now, this yellow cylinder has a radius which is the same as this one here, which is five centimeters. So the volume of the yellow cylinder, the volume of the yellow cylinder is equals to the surface area, which is pi r squared, pi r squared times the height h. Now, we can solve for the volume of the yellow part because it's the same volume of this sphere. So we can solve this, check. Can we solve for r? We can solve for r because r here is five. Check, so therefore we can solve for h. Now let's first of all solve for r. This is pretty easy, r is five. So this here, the volume of the yellow is equals to pi r hat is five squared h. So what is five squared? It's 25 and 25 times pi can be written this way as well so now let's solve for the volume of the yellow what is the volume of the yellow the volume happens to be the volume of the sphere so volume of the yellow sphere equals so we're talking about the sphere equals four over three 
pi r cubed. This is just a volume of sphere formula. Now here for the sphere, the radius is 2.5. So let's make this 2.5 cubed. So the volume of the yellow sphere equals, using a calculator, we have 4 over 3 pi 2.5 cubed, which equals approximately 65.4498 centimeters cubed. This is a cubic centimeters. So this is how much we have. So now we solve for the yellow volume and that's the volume of this yellow sphere happens to be the same volume of this imaginary mini yellow cylinder and so we have 65.4498 is approximately equals to this value here which is 25 pi h and so we can solve for this h value which is what the question is asking solve h h is approximately equals to 65.4498 divided by 25 pi. So we bring up the previous result from our calculator, 65.4498-ish, all divided by, so I'm going to press divided by, and I'm going to use brackets, 25 pi. These brackets are very important. Enter. And so the final answer, h is approximately equals to 0 0.83. And we're talking about centimeters as a length. So the final answer here is 50b.